Hey everyone, if you're on ACP, I've got some important and honestly surprising news about what's happening with this program. It's true that the ACP is still on track to end in May, but there may be ways that you can keep that discount going. We're going to talk about all of that today. And I also have an exciting announcement that could put an extra $25 in your pocket next week. So please stay tuned. But first, Let's talk about the ACP program because I know that this has been a major source of stress for many of us over the last few weeks. Now, unfortunately, unless something drastic happens very soon, the ACP program has already issued their last full subsidy payment this month. Next month, the FCC will issue one final payment of $14 per user. That's less than half the usual subsidy amount of $30, and it could leave you on the hook for an extra $16 on your May internet bill. However, some providers have chosen to step up and fill in the gap to make sure that you don't have any extra expenses in May. These providers include Assurance Wireless, FastWire Broadband, Metro by T-Mobile, SafeLink Wireless, and Verizon Value Brands. Now, those Verizon Value Brands include prepaid services like Straight Talk, Total by Verizon, Simple Mobile, Walmart Family Mobile, TrackPhone, GoSmart, Page Plus, and Net10. All of those providers we just named plan to honor the ACP discount through the month of May. Going into June, many of these providers will expect you to pay the full rate. However, some of them have chosen to extend that ACP discount for a few extra months at their own expense. If you have Assurance Wireless, you'll be able to enjoy the ACP rate through August without any changes to your price or plan. If you have Metro by T-Mobile, you'll be able to get the ACP discount rate applied to your June bill, and then you'll get a $15 a month discount in July and August. If you have fast wire broadband, you'll get that ACP discount through August as well. Now, some companies are going even farther and trying to make these discounts permanent for low income users. This is fabulous. If you have Verizon service, the company has announced a program called Verizon Forward that will bring the cost of your internet service down as low as $20 a month. And in fact, this is for new or existing customers. So whether or not you have Verizon, you should be looking into this. The speed is expected to be around 300 megabits and does not have any usage caps. For a limited time, they're also offering an additional incentive to new customers that will essentially make that service free for the first six months. It appears that the eligibility requirements for this are approximately the same as they were for the ACP program. So if you qualified for that, you may qualify for this as well. Verizon has confirmed that you can even get military and veterans discounts on this rate, as well as the Lifeline subsidy discount, and I'll be talking more about Lifeline here in just a few minutes. Um, of course, other providers are going right back to the way things used to be before ACP rolled out. If you used Comcast services, your payments will increase by $16 in May because they are only offering the $14 partial subsidy that the FCC is issuing in May. In June, your bill will go right back to the regular price. However, they have made a pretty cool concession that I'm going to talk to you about in a minute that could drop your internet bill to just $10 a month, so please stay tuned for that. But before we dive into this deeper ACP stuff, though, I have to tell you about this giveaway that could put $25 in your pocket next week. I'm really excited about this because I'm the one giving it out. Um, we sent out a survey to our email subscribers on Thursday, and next week I'm going to pick three of the people who answered that survey to win gift cards. One's going to get $25, one will get $15, and one will get $10. The best part is that you get to choose what gift card you want. If you win, you can choose a Visa, Walmart, Amazon, Target, whatever works for you, because we're doing this through, I believe it's Giftagram, and they let you choose from like 200 different brands. All you have to do is answer that five question survey that we sent out via email on Thursday. We haven't even hit a thousand responses yet, so your odds of winning are pretty good. If you've subscribed to our emails, go search your inbox for Thursday's email with the survey and take it right away. And if you're not subscribed yet, go over to email.lowincomerelief.com and sign up so that you don't miss out on our next giveaway. I'm really excited about this. Okay, anyway. Now that that's out of my system, let's get back to those ACP details because we still have a lot of options left to cover. 
So even after ACP ends, you may be eligible for other low-cost internet programs from major ISPs. Most of them have discounted low-income internet plans that cost $30 or less a month. Remember I told you about Comcast a few minutes ago? Their Internet Essentials plan offers reliable high-speed internet access for just $9.95 a month. That's the same price it's been since 2011 when the program first launched. If you prefer, you can pay a little bit more. I think it's $29.95 and they'll double your speeds. Um, but now here's where they've sweetened the deal a little bit. Historically, you could not get the internet essentials rate unless you had not already been a Comcast customer. If you were a current customer, you were just screwed. But they have temporarily changed those rules. They've announced that all ACP customers are eligible to switch to internet essentials during this transition. I do not know how long this waiver will last. So if you are getting an ACP discount on your Comcast bill, please reach out to them right away so that you can reduce your internet bills long-term through the internet essentials plan. This is a very big deal. Okay, <laughs> AT&T has also committed to maintaining their access by AT&T service, which provides high-speed internet for just $30 a month. They also offer lower price tiers, I believe as low as $5 a month, but those are usually only available if the higher speeds aren't available in your area. You'll have to reach out to AT&T for details. Charter hasn't made any specific announcements yet, but Spectrum does offer a $25 a month low income plan with a decent download speed. I think it's the same as Comcast. TDS also offers a service called TDS Connect that provides very high speed service for just $30 a month for qualifying customers. You may be able to get some of those prices a little bit lower if they accept the Lifeline subsidy, and that's what we're going to talk about next. So if you're a regular on this channel, you've probably heard me talk about this before, and if you're not, you really should be. You can subscribe and enable those notifications because all of our videos are aimed at helping you save money and get free stuff. Anyway, Lifeline is a subsidy program that provides a $9.25 discount that can be used for your cell phone or your internet bill. This is a permanent program, so it will not expire or end like the ACP program is. Lifeline has existed for a very long time. It's a permanent program, not going anywhere. So in order to qualify, you just need to have a household income that is under 135% of the federal poverty level. The FPL is calculated based on your location and your household size, but for most areas, the limits are $20,331 for one person, $27,594 for two people, or $42,120 for four people. The number goes up if you have more people in your household, and the income limits for all household sizes are even higher if you live in either Alaska or Hawaii. Now, if all that sounds too complicated, don't worry. You may be automatically eligible for Lifeline if you receive SNAP food benefits, Medicaid, SSI, federal public housing assistance, um, veterans pension, veteran survivors benefits. And if you live on tribal lands, you can be automatically qualified if you receive any of the programs I just mentioned, or if you participate in Bureau of Indian Affairs general assistance, tribal Head Start, tribal TANF, FDP food benefits, I think that's the full list. <laughs> anyway, you can sign up for Lifeline at lifelinesupport.org unless you live in California, Oregon, or Texas. If you live in one of those states, you usually have to contact your phone or internet company to apply. And if you're bogged down with debt, don't forget to call our sponsor, CareConnect USA at 866-530-9949 for debt relief. They can help you explore your options to reduce your payments, make your debt more manageable, and hopefully open up your budget a little bit, maybe so that this change with ACP won't sting quite so badly. Um, of course, there is still hope of a last minute government save for the ACP program as well. I haven't given up hope yet. This program is well loved and has strong bipartisan support. And I don't think anybody really wants to be responsible for killing it in an election here. I will be surprised if something doesn't happen at the last minute to miraculously save this program. Um, but I could be wrong. <laughs> um, I know right now there's a major movement by advocates, lobbying groups, consumer groups, and even some churches to push the government to fund this program. The ACLU has joined more than 270 other organizations to submit a letter to Congress about the extension. The goal is to force a debate and a floor vote on Representative Clark's bill that would extend the ACP program through the end of 2024. 
And that's the interesting thing I've noticed about all of these supportive measures that are being talked about. And it's all over the news right now. They're all focused on a short-term Band-Aid solution that would fund the ACP program through the end of this year. But in early 2025, we'd just be back in the same situation on the brink of losing this beloved program that helps so many people stay connected to the internet. So even if it is extended, the information in this video will still be relevant whenever it expires. Um, it is hard to overstate just how important this program has been for low-income families. If you're using it, I'm sure I, I'm sure that you know, and I'm preaching to the choir here. But for those of you who don't know, the ACP program has helped approximately one in five Americans connect to the internet. When the FCC completed a recent survey, nearly 75% of ACP users said they'd used their internet connection for health appointments. Almost half said that they'd used it to apply for jobs or that they've worked online with it. And 75% of young adults said that they'd used it to complete their schoolwork. Now, even if they do save the ACP at the last minute, there's no guarantee it'll be forever. That's why knowing your options like Lifeline and the alternative discounted internet plans we've talked about today is so important. Please don't just wait around and hope. I hope that you'll take control, reach out to the providers that we talked about today so that you can keep saving money no matter what happens. And of course, if you care about keeping this program going, please reach out to your elected representatives in Congress, encourage them to support on that bill, make your voice heard. And go check out our recent video about EBT shopping secrets for more ways that you can save money and get free stuff. I'll see you there. Oh, and don't forget about that certain